Hi, and welcome to day 12, Take It Easy, Measure by Measure for Good King Wenceslas. This is so you don't have to pause. What you're gonna do first is look at the first measure. Always ask the question, is it a line or a space to figure out the name of the note? First note has a line on top and a line on bottom, which makes it a space note. F-A-C-E, it's E because it's the top space. And it's E flat because either there's a flat next to it or in the key signature on that space, there's a flat. E flat is put all your fingers down and then pop up your first one. And there's three of them, so we'll play three. The fourth note is a line because it has a line going through the note head. Every good boy does fine because it's the top line. Every good boy does fine. It's F. Put all your fingers down and then pop up these two. One, skippy key, two, three, one. And the pinky under thumb, F. And then practice the first measure about five times when you have the first time that you're playing it. If you can't go that fast, go slower, but make it steady and even. And then go to the second measure. The first note should look familiar. If it looks exactly the same, it's a space, F-A-C-E. It's an E again, and it's still an E flat because it's in the key signature. And then it goes down, and you have a line going through the note head. So it's E, G, B, D, F, E, G, B. It's B, and there's a flat on that line at the beginning. So B flat is index, index, pinky thumb. Index, index, pinky thumb. So now we're gonna play this measure five times. E flat to B flat. Ready? Three more times, ready? And. If you're not sure, finger it, E flat, B flat, E flat, B flat, E flat, B flat. Just go back and forth. And let's try it again. And the next measure is a lot of changes. When you're first playing flute, it can mess you up if you're not getting it right. So you have space, line, space, line. Space, F-A-C-E, F-A-C, it's the third space, so it's C. Put all your fingers down, and it's only the pinky and the first finger. Got it? That note happens twice in the measure, so it's going to be C, and then going down to a line note, it should look familiar. Every good boy does fine. It's the third line, every good boy, B, and it's a B flat. Put all your fingers down, and then it's index, index, pinky, thumb. So let's go from C to B. And in this particular case, let's practice back and forth C to B a couple of times. Notice it goes right back to the same note. So we're going to go C, B flat, C. And if you can't play it the fast, play it slower. Whatever you need to do to practice it. The last note, is it a line or a space? It's a line. Every good boy does fine. Every good boy does. It is the fourth line, so it is D. Put all your fingers down, and then D is everything except for first and last. First and last. D. D. 
Now let's try going back and forth from the last two notes, C to D. C to D. They are opposite each other. So you have C, which is only these two, and D, which is everything else but those two. C to D. Practice it without playing it first. Because then you won't have to hear the mistakes if you're making them. Wait a minute. Oops. Remember to put the thumb on. All right. C to D. C to D. C. Put all your fingers down and then pop up those two. Put all your fingers down and pop up the other. And then let's try C, B flat, C, D, the third measure. And you want to practice it five times when you're first playing. Reading it, not writing the notes under because you have the time when you're practicing to not do that. If you want to have a side sheet that has the notes and how to read them, you can have that off to the side. But you shouldn't write it under every letter if you're practicing it this way because you're practicing trying to remember what the note looks like just like you know what your friend looks like and you know their name this is that note is on this space and its name is C but the important thing is to get C is and you may not get it right away that's okay all right we're gonna do C B flat C D finger it C B flat C, D. Try it again. C, B flat, C, D. And then try playing it. Try it again. And if you make a mistake, you can quickly fix it. It's fine. And then try playing it with a metronome or something that ticks and just keep it steady no matter what you do, whether it's slow or fast. Let's try this tempo. Two, ready, and. If you're getting an airy sound, it's all about trying to get this in the right place. If it's, if it's too far to the side, you'll get an airy sound. And then the fourth measure, it's two of the same note. You don't have to practice this one a lot. You don't have to practice it five times. How many times have you played E flat already? Three, four, five. Five times already, and now it's just two in a row. So put all your fingers down. Lift up the first finger only. This is E flat. And they're half notes, so they go a little longer than the quarters. One, three. And the second half, if you look at measure five, what does it look like? Have you seen it before? Yes, measure one. One and five look exactly the same. Look at measure six. Measure six, two and six look exactly the same. What about measure seven? Yes, they look exactly the same. Measure three and seven are the same, and measure four and eight are the same. So once you learn the first four measures, you know the whole song. Let's just try to play through the first four, and or let's go two and two. Here is measure one and two. Okay, and then let's try measure three and measure four. Let's try the first four measures again. Ready? So that was Good King Wenceslas, Take It Easy, Measure by Measure. I hope this was very helpful to somebody who doesn't want to pause and just wants to practice with me. Let me know how that went. If you play, practice along with this video, I say use the thumbs up button. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye, Bam Potatoes.